This is the State of Things broadcasting from the American Tobacco Historic District. I'm Frank Stacio. The annual Carborough Film Festival has been a showcase and celebration of locally produced cinema for five years now. This year's festival will screen 28 short but powerful films in a single afternoon in Orange County. Among the cinematic offerings this year are some films that address important social issues. They're likely to generate some conversations about drug addiction, prostitution, domestic abuse, and racial violence. I'm pleased to be joined by four filmmakers today. They are Rob Underhill, Arvind Raghupati, Arkasha Stevenson, and Nick Beery. All of you, welcome to the State of Things. Great to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Glad to be here. Wolf Call, and that was produced and directed by Rob Underhill, and the cinematographer was Arvind Raghupati, and they are both with us. Uh, give us a, a summary of, of the film. Arvind? Well, um, the whole movie is um, uh, revolves around Emmett Till uh, from Chicago. Uh, he was uh, lynched in Mississippi, Money, Mississippi, in the 50s. So it all happened in 1955. So when this concept came to us, uh, Mike Wiley, who has been uh, a, a fantastic actor and also a playwright, he had different versions of the story in different documentary or theatrical or nar- narrative forms. And then Rob and I was able to connect Rob, and we already worked with him a couple of projects before. But when when Emmett Till's story came, we wanted to have Rob involved to have him direct this movie and kind of come up with a cinematic version of this whole movie which could be in a five-minute or ten-minute capsule. But what we we'll have to do is we have to transform the story into a screen version. Right, and, and you took a p- particular part of that story, Rob, and that was yeah. the part when we've seen Darhi and we've had Mike Wiley here, the mm-hmm. story of Emmett Till. And this is the part of the story where the killers, Emmett Till's killers, decide to go public in an interview with Look Magazine and confess for the first time that they'd done this film. Why, why choose that segment? Well, sure. It's the um, uh, so this story is really the beginning and the end of his play, uh, the beginning where they start just having the conversation, and then towards the end when they actually admit to having killed the boy. Um, so I felt like this uh, this part of the whole uh, one man show was a story in itself. Um, it's uh, a really important part of the public record. So it's all really events that occurred, and right. um, so I, I thought this was something we could capture really well and um, really deliver the message. And uh, and we are actually working on a uh, feature length version uh, of the story of the whole story. Yep. Well, let's let's hear a clip. And the thing we should point out is that in this one man show in Darhi, and also in your film adaptation of this part, Mike Wiley plays all three parts. So he's the interviewer, and he is both murderers. And let's listen right now. This is William Bradford Huey of Look Magazine. I'm here with J. W. Milam. Age thirty six. And Roy Bryant Jr. Age? 24. No fears, gentlemen. I'm only recording this so as to be clear of the facts. It's a tool I've come to find reliable in a pinch. Now, uh, on last September, a jury found you both not guilty of murdering a Negro youth from Chicago named Emmett Till. Before the trial, y'all admitted to kidnapping the youth, but held no blame in his disappearance and consequent murder. You weren't even indicted for the abduction. Scott free, clean as a whistle. Not a word has been uttered outside of a courtroom by you or your kin until now. Without your missing piece of this puzzle, hypocrisy and myth have flourished. Now, hypocrisy can be exposed. Myth dispelled. J.W.? Mr. Huey? Our piece of Delta is a humid, skeeter-infested, dusty old corner of Mississippi. Now, if you leave here with one strap of knowledge about us and our way of life, you put it down. The whole of the Delta itself is just a loop, a loop strung together by Jesus, kinfolk, and heritage. Heritage? Mm Mm-hmm. White heritage and colored heritage. There it is, Mike Wiley playing two of the three roles he plays in the film adaptation, a film called Wolf Call, which will be uh, featured at the Carborough Film Festival this Sunday. Arvin, you went to great lengths because this interview really did take place. It was a a recorded interview, but actually in public. It was uh, published in Look Magazine. But you went to some lengths to make it look like what it would have uh, appeared 
on t- had it appeared on TV at the time. Yeah, but uh, uh, when the interview happened, it was in 1955, December of 1955. By the time six months have elapsed after Emmett Till was um, uh, lynched or murdered, and uh, there are a lot of uh, public uh, pictures and uh, magazine articles and a lot of research material available. So we had to go back to look for a lot of the elements. So there is a reel-to-reel tape machine. There is a microphone. Um, and also all the props we selected, the wardrobe, everything went back mm-hmm. to 1955. Kind of recreate that era. But uh, interestingly, it's a spoiler alert because all three roles are by Mike. Uh, yeah, no, it's... Uh, inter- <laughs> and uh, he could jump between characters, which yeah. added extra dimension for whatever we did and also for uh, the camera. We were looking for effects which we could do in camera what they would have done in the 55. The lenses uh, selected were lenses that would match to the television or the camera lenses of that era. And, uh, and even like, little subtle things like headroom, what, what we might be used to <laughs> today in, a, in video and in television wasn't what they were doing in the, in the exactly. 50s. If you're back there, you might even notice. It's a fabulous film, and of course, uh, the, the most amazing part of that film when we expose the fact that the white elite who would happy to have poor whites do their bidding were not so happy when the ugly truth was exposed that right. way. Mm-hmm. And that's the part of the story, as you say, was a whole story within a story. Nick, uh, we should say, though, and we've only got a few minutes left, that yeah. there are these, these are dark and very important subjects, but there is a lighter moment, and Absolutely. that is your film, The Entertainer. Uh, that's actually Rob's uh, Rob, film. I mean, yeah. I should say Rob's <laughs> film, The Entertainer. And uh, well, well, I tell you what, let's make sure we get this in. I'd like to hear a clip from Rob's film, The Entertainer, right now. What? Don't you like it? Oh, no, that's not it at all. It's very nice. It's just that it's an unusual way to preserve your love. Uh, it's not typical. This way, she's still functional. Even in the afterlife, she's a giver. She's part of the home. Mm, who is she, Rob? And <laughs> what's our film about? Well, it's all about marriage and living on after death of a loved one and life after death and uh, uh, showing having ways to show your love for someone yeah, after and have, they've died. And having your loved one show the, the furniture, as she does, as part of a coffee table. <laughs> well, right. It's a fabulous film. I don't think that's a spoiler alert. I think, I think it's pretty clear where that film is going. It's a fabulous thing. So uh, this is the fifth annual, and how yeah. many films total? We have? we have 28 films, and I do want to point out that we're talking about heavy, dark subjects here today, but... Uh, About six of them are dark, and 22 of them are everything from animations, comedies, lighthearted dramas made by uh, kindergarten through 12th graders, college students. Uh, There's a variety, and I consider our our festival a roller coaster where you're going to have go from a documentary to something that's a comedy to a music video and back again. So hold on to your seats. Do it on Sunday. Rob Underhill and Arvin Raghupathy are filmmakers who made Wolf Call. Arkasha Stevenson made the film Night Trade. Nick Beery is the filmmaker for 12. And Ben Pickle, also uh, co-organizer of the Carborough Film Festival. And for more information, go to carboroughfilmfestival.com. Just ahead, the human element on contemporary jazz. Stay with us.